real workspaces, documents are piled and casually arranged in a way that subtly conveys information to the owner. This expressiveness is lost in today's GUI desktops. We explore pen-centric interaction techniques for manipulating documents on a physics-enabled desktop inspired by real-world workspaces, using piles as the basic organizational entity. When dragged, documents are attached to pen position by a spring to give a more physical feel. Documents bump and displace each other in a realistic manner, as they might do on a physical desktop. We can quickly toss similar documents, like these PDFs, into a corner for dealing with later. Their appearance subtly affords that they are in an unorganized state. Holding the pen barrel button lets us ruffle through and nudge documents as if the pen had some physical geometry. When we lasso select multiple documents, springy joints are created between them so the spatial relationships are maintained. To more explicitly organize and group documents, we can create a tidy pile out of them. A tidy pile can be created by lassoing around documents and then crossing the icon that appears at their centroid. We call this novel technique lasso and cross, allowing fluid selection and pile creation in one stroke. Undo and redo is supported by uncrossing and recrossing. The icon facilitates discovery, indicating additional functionality and aims transition from novice to expert. For more complex interactions, we use a novel technique called Lasso Menu, where we fluidly lasso select documents and invoke commands with a control menu, displayed when the lasso is completed. The direction of the stroke from here on specifies a parameter, the degree of tidiness in this case. Tightening all the way creates a tidy pile. Alternately, we can use the pigtail gesture for command invocation. Hovering over a pile reveals its pile widgets, allowing specific transient browsing of contents. Hovering for some time reveals an explanatory tooltip. The grid widget offers a standard grid view of contents, smoothly animated to avoid confusing the user. Larger piles benefit from a fisheye view. Compression browse keeps items in place, maintaining context while revealing items from the top down. Techniques that resemble real-world manipulations include fanning out a pile like a deck of cards on the user-drawn path, or leafing through like pages of a book. The Messy Tidy widget allows us to recollect pile purpose by viewing the original messy poses, or use a little of this information in a messy pile. Pulling all the way on the widget breaks the pile, as indicated by the icon. We can lock down a pile for further manipulation in one of the browsing layouts with a pressure lock by reaching maximum pen pressure. Note, the cursor turns hollow, indicating a pressure lock is possible. Documents may be deleted or duplicated by invoking the command from the lasso menu. While offering a realistic feel, we are not constrained to realistic interactions. For example, we can instantly sort a subsection of the pile items by type. We can change pile order by dragging documents to a new location. On real desks, people use subtle techniques to convey information about documents and piles, such as positioning them so they stick out. We support this in our prototype. Documents can be reoriented to convey a separation of content. Alternatively, they can be pulled out of the pile slightly. If pulled out far enough, they are removed from the pile and are made the act of selection. With the pen still down, we can fluidly add these to another pile by crossing one of its widgets, all in one continuous stroke. We call this novel insertion technique, drag and cross. Other ways to add documents to a pile include dragging items to a pile. To quickly and casually add items to a pile, we can toss them in its general direction. For more precise placement, we can dwell and scrub. Or use drag and cross. We do not need to explicitly pile documents before applying our browsing tools. A temporary grid layout on these casually placed documents lets us view occluded items. Compression browse reveals items in place without disturbing their position. While offering a variety of document and pile manipulations, our interface is largely modeless. The lasso menu and pile widget techniques return to the default state when the pen is lifted. Our techniques work with any mixture of arbitrarily sized objects. Here we demonstrate our techniques with photos and windows. We pile up this bunch of photos and this collection of document windows. 
or use hierarchical piles to merge both piles with one of the previous pile creation techniques. Then sort by type. Now we browse them. When broken, the hierarchical pile returns to its components with changes folded through. Real paper is thin, light, and flexible, affording manipulation and reshaping. We aim to support this with several techniques. Users can freeform crease or fold a document in the way people fold corners of books to indicate importance. To emphasize this important document, we make it larger and heavier. It pushes aside smaller icons and is more sluggish to move when bumped by them. To further escalate its importance, we can pin it up to the wall with a pressure lock, tearing it off later with a tug. The lasso menu can be used to reorient an item, moving the pan along either axis. Pressure locking makes it stand up on end. Alternately, to de-emphasize documents, we can crumple them up. This gives documents an intermediary state before deletion. If we want to find a document but only have a general spatial idea of where it is, we can invoke the exploding piles technique. This technique explodes and collapses piles into grid view according to pen hover. To keep the desktop from getting too messy, we can instate non-physical constraints. For example, keeping items axis aligned and always easily readable, while collisions become non-physically realistic and somewhat mechanical feeling. This mode's locked rotation can be used to create shelving.